Hey guys, I'm Abby and I'm going to show you how to play You All Over Me by Taylor Swift on the ukulele. If you want to download the lead sheet and use the play along video to practice this song, come join us over on Patreon. It's also a really great way to support this channel. Alright, so first we're going to learn the chords. There are just four and they are four basic ukulele chords. They're down here. If you already know them, then feel free to skip ahead. So our first chord is C. You're just going to put your third finger on the third fret of the first string. And here is C. Then we have G. You're going to put your first finger on the second fret of the third string, second finger on the second fret of the first string, and your third finger on the third fret of the second string. And here's G. Then we have A minor, you're just going to put your 2nd finger on the 2nd fret of the 4th string. Here's A minor. And then keep this finger where it is. Our next chord is F. You're just going to add your 1st finger to the 1st fret of the 2nd string. And here's F. So those are all the chords that we're going to need. Also, if you want to play in the original key with the song, Put your capo on the second fret with these chords. Okay, so for our strumming pattern, we're going to be doing down, 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 up. That's going to happen once on each chord. So on C, it sounds like this. Down, 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 up. And then also, sometimes you're going to see a slash next to the chords. That means we're going to strum one time on the chord and hold. So on C, it sounds like this. So one strum and hold. <laughs> so the first section is the verse. Our chord progression is below. It's the chords in the order that we learned them. So we have C, G, A minor, and F. And that's just going to repeat over and over again for the verse. So it happens eight times altogether. Here it is with the strumming pattern. We have down, 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 up, down. So that'll happen eight times, like I said, on the very last time, we are going to do just one strum on that F chord. It only happens on the last time. So now here's the verse all the way through with the words. Once the last drop of rain has dried off the pavement, shouldn't I find a stain, but I never do. The way the tires turn to stones on old county roads They leave a muddy underneath, reminds me of you You find graffiti on the walls of old bathroom stalls You know you can scratch it right off, it's how it used to be But like the dollar in your pocket that's been spent and traded in You can't change where it's been Reminds me of me So that's how you play the verse. <laughs> so now we're gonna learn the chorus. We have a different chord progression. So our chord progression now is C to A minor then F and G here it is with a strum. We have C, A minor, F, and G. So that's going to happen three times in a row for the chorus. And then we have one more line at the end, and these all have slashes next to them, so just one strum per chord. So we have A minor, then F, G, and C. So now here's the chorus all the way through with the words. I lived and I learned how you got burned, held out and held on. God knows too long and wasted time. Lost tears, swore that I'd get out of here. But no amount of freedom gets you clean. I've still got you all over. 
So that's how you play You All Over Me by Taylor Swift. If you liked this video, please like it and please subscribe. I'm planning to do a whole bunch of tutorials for the Red album that's gonna come out in a couple of weeks. So subscribe so you can see those videos as well. And if you wanna support this channel, come join us on Patreon. You'll get access to all the lead sheets and the play along videos. And last of all, thank you to Enya for sponsoring this video. If you're looking for a nice intermediate ukulele, this one's a great option it's got really beautiful tone and it's a really pretty uke as well so there's a link in the description if you'd like some more information on this particular ukulele thanks so much for watching and i'll see you again next week bye